Greetings everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today's hot topic is the provocative claim how women allegedly teach men to be angry. We're scrutinizing this statement with tools of reason, facts and analysis. It's vital to stress that blanket statements about any gender are misleading and unjust. The notion that women purposely incite men's anger is stereotype based, which we aim to disprove. Let's debunk this myth. Men and women may have different communication styles, often causing misunderstandings. However, individual differences matter more than gender in communication dynamics. Societal norms often pressure men to suppress emotions, causing frustration and potential anger. Expectations of traditional masculine ideals also inadvertently contribute to this scenario. Both men and women need to develop emotional intelligence for successful relationships. The belief that women trigger men's anger is often due to mutual emotional illiteracy. The perception that women train men to be angry may stem from a lack of emotional literacy on both sides. Work-related stress, financial issues or other exterior components can lead to anger. Stress can be overwhelming and often wrongly directed. It's crucial to understand the root cause instead of misdirecting blame. Pointing fingers at women for men's anger ignores the wider context of life's complexities. People tend to notice instances confirming their preconceived beliefs. This cognitive bias can lead to wrongful attributions. A negative interaction with a woman may be wrongly attributed to a supposed training agenda. Media often perpetuates stereotypes about gender roles. This is most evident in our daily consumption of popular culture, ranging from movies, TV shows to advertising. These mediums subtly reinforce the notion that women manipulate men's emotions. It's essential to acknowledge that women can also face challenges and societal expectations. These struggles can be various, from professional obstacles to personal trials. They can lead to a range of negative emotions, not excluding frustration and anger. Misattributing emotional issues to one gender typically oversimplifies intricate interpersonal dynamics. In conclusion, the idea that women trigger men to be furious lacks sufficient factual support. Relationships necessitate frank discussions and understanding. Rejecting damaging stereotypes is key. Let's aim for a more nuanced and empathetic viewpoint. Thanks for joining us today. Enjoyed the video? Give us a like, share it far and wide and subscribe for more content. Let's foster healthy, respectful conversations in the comments below. Stay curious until we meet again.